Hello, today I want to talk to you about converting an old cordless drill into a corded drill. And just uh, the conversion is actually just for the battery pack. So you could still use your good batteries or you could buy other batteries. Um, the main reason I'm doing this is it's expensive, real expensive to buy new batteries. And most of my drills right now are not this type of battery. So for me, it just would be a waste of money. So what I did was I took the batteries out of the housing of the battery pack and now I'm going to actually just attach a cord to this. I, um, I desolder the old pieces of wire from the main head of this unit, the connector. And then I have a uh, 14 gauge wire here that I connect. I just solder it to the terminals on the old connector head. Now I'm using a 14 gauge wire. I, you could probably get away with a 16 gauge wire. You'd be able to store a lot more in the um, in the actual battery pack than I was able to, but this is some cable that I had left over from my other project. So um, I'm using it. Right now, always on uh, eBay, you can find old tools that have batteries, don't have batteries, or have the batteries and they're bad, and you can pick them up for 10 to $15 all day long. Um, and not just drills, you know, they have the uh, sawzalls and the, some of the other tools that are 12 volt. So this is an easy, cheap way to uh, get you an operating tool. Um, and, this, and this wouldn't be too bad to use for off-grid, you know, if you have a solar powered setup that, and you have some batteries that you could plug this into and, uh, and use it that way. Um, also, again, even if you have other batteries that are good, you know, this just gives you another option so that if you, you know, run your other batteries down, um, you'd be able to just plug this in. Okay, now once I get it all soldered up, I'm going to super glue this headpiece into the, into the uh, housing. So I just take some super glue, put it around the end here, and then I'm going to just slide it up into the, to the head here. And then it's, it's attached and it's not going to go anywhere. And that's the uh, really the hardest part of this conversion. Okay, now on the other end of this cable, I solder in the clips for the battery. And I make sure that I have the positive and the negative correct. And those just get soldered on. All right, after I solder the two ends on here, the red and the black, it's time to convert the housing, the black housing, to hold the cord. And all I do is take my Dremel, and I just cut a square hole out of the bottom part of this. There are other ways you could do this. You could just put a couple of dowels or something sticking out the end and, and just wrap the cord around that. Um, this is how I tried it. It seems to work okay. I wasn't able to get as much cable in as I wanted, but um, I still ended up with about six feet of cable. So uh, now you just hook it up to your car battery or solar charge station, whatever you have, and, uh, and you're ready to go. So this drill did not work before. The batteries were totally bad, so this is the first time I've used it in about a year. So. Works good, got plenty of power. And um, like I said, the way, it's, the way this is set up, you can unplug the, the pack and put in a battery if you still have good batteries. So this will just give you another way to run your electrical tools. When you're done, just unhook it and um, you can unplug the battery case, helps you uh, with winding it back up inside the end here. Again, I could have used probably a 16 gauge wire, it would have been a little easier, and I could have got more wire in. But um, I was able to get about six feet of this uh, 14 gauge in. And uh, here it is, ready to go. Thanks for watching.